So, like I was saying, I guess I kind of gave away the answer to the next question. So, let's try to figure out how many secrets there are in each of these numbers. Well, of course, like I said in the last problem, the difference between something that has trailing zeros without a decimal spot, a decimal point, is going to have um, those zeros as being insignificant. So, this is going to have only have the one significant digit and the two zeros are insignificant. But, if we put that decimal point there, then that makes all of those numbers significant. So, that's a three, right? Okay? And then here, leading zeros are insignificant always. Until the first uh, non-zero number, you don't have any significant digits. So, zero, 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 insignificant. In fact, there's a better way to express this. We'll talk about it. It's called scientific notation. But anyways, this is a good, good problem because it's got leading zeros, captive zeros, and trailing zeros. Um, so the captive zeros, like we said, always significant, yeah, always significant. And uh, trailing zeros are significant if they're after the decimal, spot, decimal point. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four significant digits, okay? So make sure to remember that because of course this will um, be necessary to use in all of your calculations subsequent to this point.